Hello and welcome to another exclusive Goody Reader video. This is Nick. And this is Marcus. And we have here the new Literati e-reader by Sharper Image. Okay, so we just got this review unit sent to us today. It's a pre-launch unit. It will ship officially sometime in October. Uh, stores like Bed Bath & Beyond and so on uh, will be doing a full comprehensive written review of it uh, in the very near future. But as far as hardware goes, it's designed for both right-handed and left-handed readers. Forward and back button to do your ebook. You can see here that unlike a lot of other e-readers, it actually has numbers at the top, as well as a full QWERTY keyboard. You also have a symbol button here for your and plus symbols, home menu back button, as well as a D-pad, in which case that you don't have to actually press this to go up and down. This is more or less your enter button, and then up, down, left, right. You can see at the bottom here, this is where you would manually plug it into the wall. And this is your mini USB to USB. You can see here, this is where you would put in your SD card right here. So a full SD card. This is your power button. Looking at the back here, this is where you would do your reset button. So if you wanted to do a full reset, know that you would have to use a pin or something very, very small in order to hit that there. You can see here that it doesn't have speakers. It doesn't have a headphone jack. So it doesn't look like there'll be any audio involved in this at all. So let's take a look at some of the, the, menu, the main menu features here. You see, of course, uh, an I'm reading doc, and we're currently reading this book here. So you can see here that you just touch this here to scroll pages forward and backward. Uh, it reads mainly EPUB books. For the resolution, it's Four, it's a 800 by 480. It's a full color screen. It's seven inches. We mentioned the SD card slot here. It does up to eight gigabits. It also does wireless. So what we're gonna do is just hit the home button here. Sharper Image is teamed up with Kobo so when you go to the store here, you'll actually go to the, the Kobo store and you could do one click purchasing. So this comes bundled with about 150 ebooks. Uh, they're all open source ebooks from uh, Project Gutenberg. So you can scroll the library by hitting this button here. Being a full colored e-reader, it means that certainly with children's books and sharper image has said that uh, sometime in the next few months that they're going to be doing uh, magazines so you'll be able to you know look at full color magazines they're going to be doing that in conjunction with kobo some of the the features that uh, sharper image has said that they're going to be doing with the literati before launch is they'll be adding different things like loading messages um, while preventing double clicks with buffering. They're going to increase the page turns in books. Uh, right now, say we're just going to do a classic here. You can see that the page turns aren't fast, even though I'm, I'm clicking it. It's certainly unresponsive. And then you can see that it lags, right? So they're going to be fixing that before launch. Uh, also, like I said, they'll be fixing some of the Wi-Fi problems. They're going to be adjusting some of the sensitivity with some of the D-pad options here. As well as some battery type Oops, issues. So we're, just uh, we're going to click this button here. And this is where you're going to adjust your fonts. You can see here, because of the screen is mainly, it's very elongated. 
and you can see that it doesn't have an accelerometer or a gyroscope so you it doesn't sync properly so the only way that you could read it is reading it like this now when we first got the unit it was actually set at a very large font so to give you a clue you can see that it's very hard to read like this I mean for people maybe that are short or nearsighted or have to wear glasses this would be good to have a big font like this but you could see how little text there is actually in the screen you would have to be pretty well constantly flipping the pages whereas we all here at Good e Reader have good vision so we're gonna put it on a small font and you can see here that there's a lot more words per page here so it makes it a lot more easier to read so by clicking this here you can also adjust the fonts between serif and sans serif uh, you can also check out your brightness level so there's we have it currently on the brightest setting available and it goes from one to seven just to, to give you guys this chance to see what the lowest setting is you can see here it's very dull it's even hard to read so we're going to adjust this and throw it on the highest setting again now you can see here that it is LCD backlit so it's not like a traditional e-reader in the respects that it has e-ink LCD screen so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the menu here and when you're reading a book some of the menu options will change so you can flip to next chapter go to the TOC the table of contents you see here this is where your Wi-Fi settings would be it would scan networks and so on you can adjust your date and time see here that it is pretty unresponsive with the D time as you see that I was trying to do a, a fair number of things and it wasn't very easy to do uh, you can see here on the overview uh, it comes with 252 megabytes of internal storage you can see here with the free ebooks it's taken up about 25 megabytes you can see the software version 1.7 hardware version uh, your Wi-Fi Mac address you can switch here to Wi-Fi it'll automatically detect your networks date and time you can you can press here if you hit the symbol button you can you know do the and slashes and such a this unit does not come with the integrated web browser it doesn't come with any applications that you can install yourself uh, perhaps in the future literati sharper image will make some sort of different types of apps or games that they'll allow you to play but for now in our opinion it's a very bare bones e-reader despite the fact that it's full color it doesn't really come with any books that take advantage of the full color features although sharper image has said that within a few months they will be doing full color magazines children's books and cookbooks where we can see that in a color e-reader that's where it would really excel seeing being able to take advantage of the full colors such as full color PDF files and so on uh, for now this is their first release of an e-reader so we hope that they install some of the Wi-Fi updates and other updates very soon but this has been a review of the sharper image literati for good e-reader this is Marcus this is Nick